everyone, I'm Jesse with the Spectrum Discovery Area. We are the University of Montana's hands-on science center here in Missoula. And since our museum is closed right now, we are excited to bring you some fun science activities. So today, we are bringing you one of our favorite exhibits from our hands-on health exhibition. This is our glow germ box. So we are going to be exploring germs and hand washing today. Very important things to, to know. Uh, so I guess, what are germs? Any ideas? Germs are tiny living organisms that can live almost anywhere, including on and inside your body. They can be bacteria or viruses, and some of them can cause diseases. And they can also be contagious, which means it can spread from one person to another. But a lot of bacteria and germs are actually very helpful and they keep your body functioning. But some of them that are harmful, we wanna make sure to get rid of those. And that's why it's super important to wash your hands. On one tiny square inch of your hand, there could be 50,000 germs. But remember, a lot of those are helpful. So here's the glow germ box. And it has a black light inside can't really see much right now, but when we put in these simulated germs, remember now simulated means not real. This is a lotion that will glow in a black light so that we can see, so we can see it. And you can see here it's glowing. So this box has a black light inside and we're gonna put some of this simulated germs on our hands and see what happens when we try to wash it away. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of these simulated germs on my hand. Now remember, it's just lotion. All right, let's see. You can't see anything on my hands right now, but, oh my. That glow germ is really glowing on my hands. So a lot of you might have some hand sanitizer at home. Let's see how this works. We'll just squirt a little on, and you rub it in, backs and fronts of your hands. Now did that get rid of the germs? Let's see. <gasps> hmm. What do you see? With the lotion, it seems just to have kind of spread it around. Didn't really get rid of it. What do I do? Okay, so the Purell didn't work quite like we thought it might. Let's wash our hands. Now, sometimes I'm in a hurry, and I really just want to wash my hands really quickly. So I'm going to turn on my warm water and wash. Put on some soap. How many seconds was that? Oh. Did that get it off? I've just washed my hands for a little bit. Let's see if I got all of that, those germs off of my hands. Hmm. Do you still see some of the glow germ glowing? I didn't do a very good job. You might know that it's better if you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Let's try that and see if we can get all that glow germ off my hands. So we'll turn on our warm water. We'll get our soap. And about 20 seconds is like singing the ABC. So let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? All right, let's see. All right, we've washed our hands for 20 seconds. Let's see if we got most of this glow germ off. Oh, interesting. It looks a lot better. Can you still kind of see the glow? 
it hasn't all disappeared, but it looks a lot better than the last time, didn't it? Hmm, this is interesting. A lot of people, when they wash their hands, forget to get the backs of their hands, their wrists, kind of in between the fingers. Those are important places to remember to wash when you're washing your hands. All right, so let's try something that you can do at home. So we're gonna explore how soap works, and all you need is a little cup or bowl of water, some coffee grounds, or you could maybe use some pepper, and just regular hand soap. Okay, so this water, what we're gonna do is pour a little bit of our coffee grounds on top of the water. If you're using pepper, it should also work. This acts as germs. Look at all those germs in that water. So what happens when you stick your hand into the water? I'm gonna put my finger in. <gasps> wow, it all stuck to my finger. Yikes. We don't want that. So how does soap work? How could that help so that I don't get all that germ, those germs on my finger? Now with just a little bit of soap on your finger, we're gonna do the same thing. What happens? Let's see. <gasps> wow, what just happened there? All of the germs moved away from my finger and my finger is clean. Now, this happens because soap breaks the surface tension of the water, which makes it not as sticky, so it doesn't stick to my finger. Amazing! Thanks so much for exploring with us today. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Check back with us tomorrow, because we're going to continue doing science experiments each day. Take care and stay curious.